Hello everyone, I'm Adam Rojas and welcome back to another video in the WinTech USA Propel series. Today I will be demonstrating how to communicate with a Near Yoned using one of our WinTech HMIs. For today's example, I will be using a CMT3072X to communicate to our NED via an Ethernet connection. The Near Yoned comes pre programmed as a Modbus server, and we can communicate to it by using the predetermined registers provided by Neria. By configuring the values, we are able to fully control the ARM, just as Nerio Studio would. To start, we will be creating a new EasyBuilder Pro project and adding our Nerio as a new device. I have selected Modbus TCP IP zero based addressing to represent our Nerio NED. The default IP of the Nerio NED is 169.254.200.200, and the port is 5020. Next, I will place a register that is reading data from the Nerio to ensure that we have established a connection. Currently the devices are not connected, but in a second I will turn on the Ethernet switch. As expected, the PLC no response page has disappeared, signaling that there was a successful connection. If I move the arm, you can actually see that the HMI is reading data from the NED. And if we reference the Nerio documentation, we can see that 3x0, which we have placed on our project, is reading the angle from the joint at the base so twisting the base will change the value. Now to begin sending information to the near your NED, we will need to send data through the 6x 0 through 5 registers. Rather than directly entering the data into our 6x registers, however, I have opted to use our LW registers in the front end and to have a macro upload those values to the 6x registers in the back end. This way I can set up my own custom boundaries for the joints as well as allowing me to compensate for any data type issues we may run into. Additionally, I've placed a set word object that will set the register 6x100 to the value 1. This will send a joint move command with the stored joint values. I've also placed a button that will calibrate the arm using the 6x310 and 311 registers. And finally, I've placed a set word object that will put the arm into learning mode, essentially putting it to sleep. After cleaning up the project visually and downloading it to our HMI, we can begin to test the project on our workbench. The value was successfully sent to the Nerio, and it was able to be calibrated. Now let's test the rest of the joints.
And with that successful test, we have shown you how to connect your HMI to the NeuroNed. Thank you for watching. For links to the NeuroNed Modbus library or the complete project used in this video, check the description below. For more information, you can visit us at wintechusa.com or subscribe to our YouTube page where we will cover more technical tutorials.